like, you know, even though he means Game & Watch, I'm pretty sure he tried Yoshi. I don't like how the character plays. I'm just going to stick to Game & Watch. Um, huh. I feel like this could potentially be an annoying matchup for Joker, if anything else. They, I mean, uh, we saw at Summit that Maester did pretty well against MKLeo, taking him to Game 5, I believe, yeah. in winner's side. So this is definitely, uh, this could be a tough matchup, but it, again, you got to consider like player caliber as well when looking at these characters. Exactly. Okay, uh, <laughs> that's a move. <laughs> I forgot that's a move in this game. The one thing that I feel that Game & Watch kind of has over Joker, because Joker has a lot of aerials that work really, really well, is Game & Watch is kind of an anti-air machine. It's really hard to approach Game & Watch because he does have that upbeat. So you kind of have to play a little bit of respect towards it. Yep. Trying to land with the bomb. I think it went on the platform, so it didn't really get shield stun on Eon there. <laughs> okay, Arsene is back out. Can he keep up the juggles, though? Yeah, he's doing a good job. It's just a matter of uh, who's going to close out the stock better between these two. But right now... Oh, Yoshi Freak, though! He's going to get the down smash, bury him, free forward smash. And that's a solid lead to be at 73% against Eon, too, in stock in game one. Yeah. I don't know if... Okay, at the very least, Bucket can reflect now. I forgot. But uh, it, I don't know if uh, Take Aim is energy-based, so... Um, Take Aim is not energy-based. Okay, it's, work, a, it's a bullet, yeah. Yeah, it's a bullet. So it'll. that's one of the things that Take Aim has over a lot of projectiles, over like something like Wolf or Fox Blaster, is the fact that it doesn't... It's not able to get absorbed by a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. But the one buff that Game Watch did receive in this game, even though we're closing the gap on the first year here, is if it's not a projectile, it'll reflect the back. All right, Arsene is pretty much available now. He's going to have to be careful about it. Yep, there we go. Oh, the last hit of the back air. Oh, oh and he buckets the Aegon. Okay, but, uh, okay, was that worth it? If he, if he gets another, if he gets full bucket, then yeah, this is worth yeah, it. Yeah, it'll be worth he, it. He lost his stock, basically, for that, but he was already, like, a high percent. So. Oh, he's got two in them. He's got two in there. Yeah. So he just needs one more, and then he'll be good. It all depends if it's worth it if, he, if Eon is able to come right back because he has Arsene in play. He's trying to make sure he's whip punishing him at the ledge, giving I was saying, giving Yoshi Freak a little bit of a false sense of uh, hope. Yeah. Oh, Barry, that's another again, one. Yeah, smash. that was very nice. Just space outside with the Nair and then force him to shield grab, and he was going to go and get that down smash. Great setup there. 59% Yoshi Freak looking to cause game one for himself here. Mm -hmm. Eon has to stay on his toes here. I mentioned that he is an anti-air machine, go for the up B and keep Eon away from him. We all know how Joker loves to be in the air for going for aerials. Yeah, he just tried to ra randomly do it too, trying to put in some fear in Eon's heart right now. I mean, one more down smash. I think it might... Okay. That was unfortunate. Ooh, he's just gonna have to bounce back from that if he wants to try and seal out this game because uh, Arsene's almost out, so he's almost in a good spot. Woo! Okay, just sp space right outside the shield. Yeah, he's, just, he's pretty much op hoping for Arsene to be gone at this point. And there he goes, finally uh, done with. Okay, Yoshi's got to be careful. He's starting to look like he may not be trying to bait him, but now he's like starting to randomly go for down smash. So he's got to yeah. be definitely careful because I think Eon's kind of figured it out. It's like, okay, I just got to be right outside the range of down smash and mm -hmm. I'll be good. I have to make sure I have to outspace him a little bit. But I mentioned the anti-air machine goes for the up B. The minute that Eon goes for taking him downwards, he kind of has to be careful with that, too, now that the fact that Yoshi has caught up to it. Oh, man, Arsene's back. This is the worst spot for Game & Watch to be in. <laughs> I'm so scared all of a sudden now. That SD was so critical, and he's not going to be able to get that bucket. What's he going to do? Oh, that was really close. Woo! He tried to mix him <laughs> oh, up. Oh, man. <laughs> Up he getting out of that back air. Oh, it interrupted the dash attack. He's so lucky there. Now he's got himself some control. The oh, drag down up air doesn't get the tumble. He doesn't at all, but the dash attack will put him off the stage and off the game one for Eon. Eon clenching the controller a little bit on that one. Yoshi Freak had that really close. Oh, man. If he didn't SD, I think Yoshi Freak would have taken it. But yeah. the way that Arsene's lined up with where Yoshi Freak was on those stocks definitely hurt him in yeah, the long run. I that think. is very true. Yeah. I have to agree Timing with on Arsene is sometimes difficult. If you're fighting Arsene at like zero, sure, whatever. If you're fighting yeah. Arsene at 70, oh, you got <laughs> to start worrying there. <laughs> Two back airs, man, could just be the death of your entire stock. Yeah. So Yoshi Fake really close game with Eon. Eon with a lot of adjustments to be made. He has to be careful with take game. He has to respect Buck a little bit more. We kind of saw that here in this first game. He kind of stopped using Aegon a little bit when he had Arsene because he knows Yoshi Freak was ready. So he tried to mix up the timing here. Coming in with aerials too. I mentioned how Game Watch can be an anti-air machine. Three, two, one, go! 
Okay. There's up B out of it. it. It's so funny how it only does 3%, but it combos into up air, so it's actually more devastating than it looks. Yeah, and on certain character weights, you can be continuously comboed by up air, mm -hmm. and you're forced to go to the ledge. Yeah, I like what Eon's doing. He for he uh, baited out that up B that time around, so then he was able to get a punish off of that on the landing. Yeah, Eon definitely looking a little bit better this time around. Yeah, Eon is definitely a player that can adjust on the fly at times. Yep. All right, nice. Let's see. He has yep. to go to the ledge here. Doesn't want to get caught by the all onslaught of up airs. The bomb there sneaks its way in, and Joker is not Whoa. at the range for the grab. If there was a robbery to be had, man, Yoshi could rob this man of a recovery. Yeah, that was actually really nice. So he's trying to mix up like how he's going to be able to take off stocks too. I think that's a key against a character like Game Watch. He doesn't have too much that he can do to try and take your stock, but it, just the things that he does is so well that you have to mix up either how you approach with it or you just got to pull out that random tr trick in the card every now and then. Nice. Eon was right, right, solely spaced to be able to go for a punish there. Go for the grab. Okay. I actually don't know what Game of Watch can do off a of throw. Not too much at that percent, it looks like. Definitely a much different character than he was before. And you see the macaro macaroni carn or whatever it's called. <laughs> kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. I'm sorry. I don't know how to Macaroni card. Yeah, macaroni. That's, the macaroni that's the first time I've ever heard that. I know, I know what it does in the game. It reflects um, magic spells. But, like, sometimes, man, you just don't know what to call it. <laughs> Makari Karn and Tetra Karn. <laughs> Makari Karn, okay. <laughs> Some Persona 5 fan is out there cringing. Yeah, they're, they're going to be really mad at me now. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Here we go. Yoshi Freak's still in a good spot, though. Sneaks in a bullet here. I like that he's looking for the spacing between him and Yoshi Freak. He kind of wants Yoshi Freak to make the commitment coming up from the ledge. He's the one in disadvantage here, even though the percents dictate otherwise. Okay, there's the back air. Chef gets <laughs> a little bit of control there. Not going to get the dare. This is close to how game one was. Yoshi Fruit with a lead, but Eon is able yeah, to get the stocks. Yeah, he's just got a not SD, basically, and then he's in the exact same spot that he was before. Tech, yep. Okay, good. I'm surprised it didn't go red, actually. Like, I thought that would have had enough knockback, but I guess not. Nice. And hop into forward tilt. Oh, that would have been a good okay, opportunity. Yeah, I, re I respect the attempts from him. Yep, you have to watch out for the reflect hitbox. Yeah. Sorry, the counter hitbox, because Makar Karn hit your card. Yeah, if at, if at first you don't succeed, then you just try again. And that time it worked out, so now he's just got to close out the stock somehow. Eon is forced to go to the ledge for the recovery here, and that does allow Yoshi Freak to go for that forward air. Oh, sucks after the bomb didn't explode. Nice, he's looking for the spacing on the whip punish on the landing. Holding shield, I like it, and he rolls away. He sees the situation, doesn't want to get caught by up smash, could have broke the shield. Yeah, now what Eon's doing now basically is that Yoshi Freak has to commit to something to try and get the kill. So he's just staying right outside of range and then with punishing afterwards. Exactly. And Joker's very good at that. Yeah, this is a pretty tough spot to be in. There, and then I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll finally do it. <laughs> I mean, it was Joker's way in the percent. It'll definitely take care of it. Oh, right outside the range. Okay, here we go. What's he gonna do? Nice. Once again, spacing there, crucially important. I like that. He did the, the wave back with the gun and then uh, air dodge forward. That mm -hmm. makes that well his uh, recovery back to stage. Yeah, you usually have five options. You know, you have get up attack, roll get up, just to name a few there. But if you mix up your options there, your opponent has to guess one of the five. Okay, here we go, up airs. Yoshi free, second chance at life. But Arsene is back, so yeah. you gotta be careful. And this time, Eon didn't retreat to the uh, ledge. <laughs> yeah, this is so scary. Eon one move away from possibly winning this game. Fourth throw, I like it. Goes for eight on. Could be going for down air. Oh, barely got around. Very nice recovery from Yoshi Freak. Arsene is just about to be used up, so he's just gotta last a little bit longer. There we go. Three minutes of the timer. This could be Eon's game to lose here. He does have Yoshi Freak at that 143%. Uh, but one back air? Might be able to do it even with regular Joker. 
Gotta be careful. How does he get back? Okay. Oh, the roll! <laughs> he was looking for it and the jump to the up B, and he's gonna get the up air. Close and games all around. Though. Yoshi Freak wanted to call out Eon for being at the ledge with the up B, but Eon moved away. 